In this video, we're going to be discussing the different layouts you have for every single slide when you're creating a Microsoft 2016 PowerPoint presentation. Now, by default, whenever you start a new PowerPoint presentation, you're going to be given a slide that has the title layout. And this is going to include a text box for the title, a text box for the subtitle. And when you create new slides beyond that, you're generally going to have a text box for the title and one for your body text. However, these are not the only two layouts that you actually have available to you when you're in PowerPoint 2016. So if you want to change the layout of a slide, what you do from the Home tab is you go over here to Slides and find the Layout drop-down menu. Here you can change the layout of your slide and you have a bunch of different options available to you. We're going to be trying to cover pretty much all of these in this video. So you should already be familiar with the title slide and title and content type because those are the ones we've already been working in. The next one up is the section header. So when you have a PowerPoint presentation that's going to be broken down into different components beyond just having a title, and maybe you have two or three different chapters or sections or whatever you're trying to cover, you can create independent uh, section header slides. And these are really good if you're changing between different topics. So for instance, we click on section header and we want this to be leading into the first chapter that we're reviewing from our book. So this would be like a book review presentation. So we have chapter one right here. And then maybe as the subtext, we could add in the name of that chapter. For instance, just something random, seven lucky streak. Let's go with that. Now then after typing in your section headers, you can go ahead and create the slides beyond that which would actually detail the information of your presentation. And then if you want to create one for the second chapter, you would just do the same thing, go back up to layout, create a section header, and then put in chapter two. Very similar to title and content is the two content slide type. This would be where you want to take the lower text box that contains all of the information, body paragraphs, possibly bulleted lists, and splits it into two sections. So by choosing two content, you're gonna have one box on the left and one box on the right. Next up, we have the comparison type, and this may look very similar to two content, it is. However, there's one difference, and that's the section in between the slide title and the content areas. Because what it does is it adds in these extra text boxes where you can label each side of the slide. Obviously, the idea here would be you would use this slide layout if you were doing a compare and contrast, possibly positives and negatives, or one product against another product. Next is title only, which is pretty much like a title slide, except that it has no subtitle. This would be another alternative to section header if you just wanted to have title slides every time you were going to change between different topics or different chapters in a book you were reviewing. The blank slide layout is exactly what it sounds like. You are given an empty slide that has no text boxes on it by default. However, you can of course customize it however you want. You can insert different objects, pictures, or custom text boxes into it. So if you wanted to just make your own slide, you would just go text box, horizontal text box, and you can put the text box literally wherever you want. For instance, I could put one over here on the right hand side, and then I could go ahead and add in another text box for the left hand side. Why you would want it to look like this, I'm not really sure, but you could. With the blank slide type, pretty much anything's possible. Now, something I do want to point out is that every time you create a new slide, you don't have to manually go over here to layout. What you can actually do is click on the new slide drop down and you can choose the same options uh, before you even create the slide. So you could just start with this next one, content with caption. And this type of slide would probably be used for photographs or maybe charts and that kind of thing. Uh, you see they do provide easy ways to add those in here. And then on the left, you can give a title to your graph or your photograph. And with the subtext, you can add in extra information like who the author or photographer of the work on the right is. Next, we have picture with caption, which is very similar. The difference is that uh, by default, it's not a content box where you could just kind of put whatever you want here, either a spreadsheet or a chart. But specifically, this is for images. 
And you can see that the layout here is a little bit different than the previous slide as well. The amount of space dedicated to adding a picture here is not quite as much as this content area on the previous slide. Next, we have panoramic picture with caption, which is similar, except that the layout changes. Instead of having the picture on the right, we have a large landscape panoramic picture space up here at the top, and then the title and subtext goes down at the bottom. With title and caption, it's very similar to a default title slide, except you see here that the layout is a little bit different. Instead of having the two text boxes right on top of each other, you instead have a big title box up here and then a gap and a space for the caption or subtitle down below. Quote with caption is similar, except that it actually adds in this little graphic here on the left and right, four quotations here, and another extra text box, which you would normally use to give credit to the person who made that quote, and an extra text box down below for extra information. The name code is almost functionally identical to the section header up here at the top right. Uh, you could use this to put in one of the people who worked on this presentation or project and their subtitle down below or any other purpose that you want this specific layout for. A quote name card is very similar to quote with caption, except that instead of having a text box directly below the quote area, you instead have a text box down here at the bottom and then one below that, very similar to a standard name card. The true or false layout is almost exactly like that previous one, giving you a little bit extra space in these text boxes down below and removing the quotation marks. Now, title and vertical text is actually quite a bit different than the title slide, and the reason for that is beyond the title itself, which we'll just put in a title here, you can actually see that the text goes vertically. So it's churned on its side about 90 degrees, or exactly 90 degrees, and you can start typing information here, such as presentation, enter, information. This probably isn't the kind of slide you'd use in a normal presentation that you're going to show on screen unless you were going to rotate the entire uh, slide 90 degrees so that the title was on the left going vertically and this information over here on the right was actually showing horizontally. Uh, however, you could use this. It's probably more useful for things like printouts, though. With a printout, people could just churn slides like this on its side and read from a portrait top over here on the right to bottom over here on the left point of view. And the last slide layout that you have available to you in PowerPoint 2016 by default is the vertical title and text layout. Now this is very much like the previous one, except that the title is also turned 90 degrees on its side. So we could type in the title here, like presentation and information over here. And it's all going to be 90 degrees churned on its side. So that's it for the different slide layouts in PowerPoint 2016. Until the next video, I will see you then.